Here's the question. Are you born as a singer that you can sing or not? And if you can't, there's just no hope for you. Or can you actually learn singing? Let's get to the bottom of this question today. I was born into a musical family and I used to think many years ago that you either can sing or you can't. I happen to always know how to sing well and because I was just surrounded by music all the time, my parents were on stage, my dad was a singer and I was around orchestras and bands and all these things. And to me it was like, why would I ever want to take voice lessons? If you can't sing, that's when you take voice lessons, but if you can sing, why would you need voice lessons? No use, right? Well, later on I started in college and I took vocal performance as my major and I did take my first lesson in college, yes, that was my first lesson ever. And that's when I learned, oh my goodness, there's a whole world that is still open to me as far as the next levels go. I learned that there's so much you can still learn about the voice and how you can improve by just knowing these things and being trained. So my answer is you are born with a basic instrument that you have and also when you're a child, you either gain musicality by always being surrounded by music Music or by being exposed and maybe getting into music yourself, maybe your parents play an instrument or you're in a choir as a child already, that really largely determines how your musical ear develops. And so if you happen to be born into a family or not surrounded by anyone who really gets into music, it might be that your ears just not trained very well and it's not on your radar, which doesn't mean you can never learn it. It's just like a child that is born into a bilingual family will easily learn those two languages that it grows up with and it will most likely be easier to pick up another language just because now the brain is already set to kind of grasp systems of how a language works. And it's the same with music. When you have never been exposed to music, you just don't have anything on your radar that like the systems, there's no system in your mind where you could just grasp concepts easily. And so it might be harder maybe to learn intonation or counting or hearing something like not hearing like with your ears physically, but noticing, picking up things in music and then also imitating to do the same thing. So there is totally a lot you can learn, totally. I've had students, one in particular, when he started was very young, he was I think 12 or so, he came to me and I would go like, can you sing this pitch? And he'd go like, ah, and I would say, no, no, can you sing this pitch? and he had no concept of where any pitch was located in his voice. And probably a lot of people would have thought, stop it, a lost cause, you can't learn how to sing. But he was so determined and he was always joyful. He was never discouraged or anything. He just kept working on it and we just kept doing ear training exercises. We kept singing easy songs and we just did a lot of interval training. And after a while, Maybe it took a couple years, but he could actually carry a tune. It was not perfect 100%, but he could actually hit the pitches and carry a tune. So that is, to me, proof that you totally can learn intonation and how to sing on pitch, but you also can learn musicality. Although I was exposed to a lot of music as a child, most of my musical skills I learned when I was an adult already. And uh, I will make another video next video you will see from me will be about musicality for singers. So important, so don't miss it. It's so important just to not only think about singing technique, but singing as music and as a musical instrument. And you can definitely develop your musical instrument. If you have a voice that functions, so if you can speak and you have a speaking voice, you most likely also have a singing voice and you can totally develop it. So if you feel like there's no use and you're lost cause, don't feel discouraged. There's a lot you can learn. You might not ever get to the absolute perfect stage, but whoever does, right? We always still keep learning and there's always slight imperfections in, even in the best singers in this world. You can learn how to sing it's really about having a system. Why are you exempt as a singer? Why do a lot of singers think either you can or you can't? Nobody would ever expect that from someone who wanted to start playing the violin. They wouldn't say, well, if you can't play, you'd never learn how to play. 
Well, if you can't play, you begin with easy steps and then you get more difficult and you do exercises and after a few years you can actually play. It's the same with singing. Don't expect to be able to sing after a couple of lessons or a couple of months of lessons or a couple of years of lessons, depending on what your beginning level was. If it was very low level and you haven't had any training and you don't have that natural ear for it, it will take longer. Just like someone who plays the piano, you wouldn't begin with the most difficult piece. You would begin with something that is easy enough to where you can handle it. Treat your voice like an instrument. It is an instrument. It's part of your body, but it's also an instrument when it comes to singing and making music. Treat it as such and go about it systematically and you will be so much happier and less frustrated in the future. Thank you so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe if you have not already for more singing tips to come and check out my next video. Until then, I do hope you have a wonderful week and always keep on singing. Bye. I must be strong